Why would he kill the president if the president pick him? It's not like the president said you he gonna die. The president don't even have time in office. It's not like the president is actually out there for five years. This president was not even, his time was up in the first place. So what reason and what, just tell me why this dude will want to kill a president. The only way I would like to kill a president, if the president was actually in power for such such amount of years, so if I kill you, I take over. But this president have no time. So if he pick him, for him, it's pretty much like he's taking a bargain. So killing the president, for what reason? But guess what? There's a reason why they say that he killed the president. It's simple. First of all, I told y'all, the president so-called pick him as a prime minister because of his background. His background, he's what? He's a doctor. So therefore, they're going to use his credential to push the vaccine because he's a doctor. So in this level, whatever he said, the people will believe him because guess what? Who's going to challenge this dude education, especially when everybody in, in the Haitian government is nothing but dumb and stupid coons. That's right. So he's the only one with a credential that high that people will most likely listen to him. But now ask yourself, they've been sending the vaccine. This dude is not allowing people to take this shit. I repeat. Homie ain't down with the listen, vaccines, y'all. People, that's one listen, thing that lets you get a little like, okay. This is where this shit let is watch headed. You, let me watch you. The DR sent some vaccine to Haiti. He said, "Fuck no." He blocked this shit from going. Second time around, because the U.S. Second, of course, the U.S. already bring some shit over there, but he's not making effort for this shit to be known. Like everybody know, he's not doing that. So all that it shows you, this nigga, yeah, they put him in there, but he's not playing ball. He's not playing ball. So now this is the reason why now you're hearing everything you're hearing about him like, oh, he killed the president. But there's no evidence linked to this shit. But you get the point. It's what you call level one of blackmailing. This is level one blackmailing. It's pretty much we in the same team, but they already told you, look, nigga, we got some shit against you. If you don't do what we say, you know what we're going to say back. So this nigga not even been in so-called office for like what? Not even two months? And they said now that he killed the president. Why I'm not hearing this shit way before this nigga, right after this nigga was killed? This is the dirty politics. Once again, we start to understand. And this nigga is the first so-called person they kind of put in power right now. They don't have the letter J on his name. Pete. This shit might pass y'all quick, but y'all don't understand. This dude might be the only guy so far that I'm seeing... They don't have the letter J on his name. Hello. And every president the Haitians have, the most, most of them have the letter J. And all of them with letter J is catastrophe for the nation. Every time. Every time. time. Okay? This letter J bring destruction to all Haitian presidents that ever walk, that ever become president. They all bring destruction to the nation. So this dude don't have it. So we're going to see. What so, he's got in his goodie bag. All I'm saying, this don't sound right to me because at the end of the day, there's no in hell. This dude been appointed by the president and then he has to kill the president. For what reason? Why would he want to do that? <laughs> Just don't, this, this shit don't make sense. Someone going to say, well, for him to take over because he went. But the president don't have enough time. Like, for what reason? So basically, it's just a farce. So I just want to bring this up so people know because off bat, this dude, so-called, he's already, he already sit down with everybody he's trying to create a form of unity so everybody just have whatever they find a way to work together. He did that, so-called, for what I'm seeing. And he start firing some people also, and a lot of shit people's not agreeing with that. So to me, it feels like, like well, it's a war going on between themselves, but they are trying to get this nigga out because, again, because he's not playing ball. That's why I bring this up. So, again. Yeah. That I just part. bring this up, that part. So now we're going to go to this chick here, okay? So Alleged again, wife of the alleged president. Exactly. Is no longer uh, allegedly that they said was assassinated. This is Martine, his wife. Yes. That you see in the picture here with nothing but, what's that? Navy SEAL. Protecting her. That's Mind you, she gets up into Haiti but got Navy SEALs, paid Navy SEALs American money. To protect her. She didn't even, <laughs> she couldn't even pay the Haitian fucking security and well, support her own country. This is the person who allegedly want to run for president, y'all. Who over there tried to do a campaign. Where was she on her way to? Wasn't it a tribunal? Uh, tribunal? Uh, yeah, she went to tribunal to go answer in court about certain questions about the so-called assassination. I told y'all 
before all this. I told you she's the prime suspect of everything. You know what? The, I mean, what a lot of people are saying right now, they don't feel no emotion out of this chick. I mean, what emotion are you going to feel? She was laughing at the so-called nigga funeral, so she told you she's been snitching on everybody in the way. She told you straight up, look, this nigga ain't dead. None of her children cried. That's what the brother was saying. The brother said he don't see nobody crying. He don't see no emotion. I don't need to say that. Anybody with a common sense see this shit is not for what it up, is. man. <laughs> Haitian have a culture of acting a fool when someone dies. It's like that's the last motherfucker die in the world when someone die in Haitian culture. Word. Nigga jumping. Nigga have fucking seizures. This is how it goes. No blood Tell la homme. C'est où la homme? Bon Dieu, on va se homme. C'est mon truc de tomber. C'est où la terre? Et puis tout l'autre monde a pris crise, une après l'autre. C'est chaque monde qui fait une crise là, vous voyez, maman tombe. Bon Dieu, prends toi la homme. Yo. That's how the shit go down. So le bras dit, je venais le mourir, je le mourir à la monde pas prendre crise. Ah, monsieur, au moins matin, ta caca, mon point pose la récolte à brûler, au moins d'ailleurs, fait effort. Ah, et même. Même si elle a marché tout droit, couché, elle tombe dans le blanc, même si elle va. Ah, elle a des caca. Ah, mais c'est comme un bouquin dans le pays, ça, monsieur. Ah, yeah. Nah. They playing games. Nah. Real live games. So, basically, this chick in this picture, like, like all of y'all seen it, this is the Navy SEAL, US Navy SEAL. So, ask yourself, who is paying the salary of these Navy SEAL? Because this chick is not president. And she, who's paying the salary? So, off bat, you're supposed to know the puppet master somewhere. In the back, handling, in the, the, whole back, handling the whole situation. That's, That's right. all it is because they want her to become the next president as the next puppet. So now, by law, ask yourself, she want to become president. So this image itself should tell you the hypocrisy. So you want to protect <laughs> yourself from the very people you want to lead? I repeat, you want to protect yourself from the very people you trying to lead? I'm going to miss it. Comprendre, mais papa, il sait si nous comprenons une photo, ça si nous comprenons une jouette, rien ça. Ça dit, Martin, besoin président, il prend un dal blanc protégé, contre moun ni besoin, tout le leader pour eux. Ça yeah. doit protéger ta tout contre moun ou besoin leader pour eux. Mais c'est mes amis, nous savons prendre moun pour caca, mon cher. Attends, Martin, il dit, il président, et puis tout le peuple, pour peuple encore. Attends, même moi, ici, pas qu'à, même moi, ici, pas qu'à protéger, mais il prend le leader, peuple, ça. Ah, nous, là, c'est monsieur. Yeah, oh, some ain't right about that equation. Is, some ain't I right mean, about that on, equation man. over there, y'all. They, 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 they got, they got, they got, they got, they got suspicious written nah, all over. Nah, this shit don't add She's up, sus, man. She's sus, boy. You hear Come me? Come on, son. Yeah. Nah, this chick is. She been lying and she been saying that you know the arm. This chick ever since the so-called husband president was going for president, become a president in a campaign. We talk about five years ago. This chick was always got an arm brace like she was injured from this arm. Like so she even this chick was supposed to be get shot eight times, people. Eight times. Tell me what nigga recovered eight months after getting shot eight motherfucking times. I'm saying. <laughs> this chick three months walking like this. Look, look, look at the picture. Tell me if this chick got hit eight times. You tell me. Got shot eight times and recovered three months later. Now nah, they really need to go after this chick. Like. She'd even crazy, like her genetic is even crazier than Harry Adelax. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I mean, shit. <laughs> they need to get her ass on the table and get some of that gene, cause nigga, you are worse than fucking Logan. Wolverine ain't got shit on you. You live. I mean, come on now. <laughs> they better no. That's the real motherfucking Logan right there. They because her Ooh. genetic is like how the fuck you recover to that level so fast? Eight time you got licked. Eight times? No, nah, Martin, no. we want your DNA right here, right, right now. now. Okay? <laughs> right here, right now. So, Something you know ain't Martin. Hell no. We don't know, Martin. You so got to come with the real. We won't be down for that. We, we ain't caca. Uh -huh. Nous campons quoi? Nous pas prendre caca ça. I repeat. Nous campons quoi? Nous pas prendre caca ça. Okay? So, Woo! nah. Hell nah. Hell nah, Woo! man. We... We definitely got to bless her, her ass. Her, Let us just bless our ass. Y'all listen, get the likes up, y'all. Make sure you're sharing the live. Show the uh, channel some love. It's the Voodoo Diva and God. The cash app is half 86 PayPal. Shankon at gmail.com. Show some love to the channel. We're here for the people to give you the news that you need in every sauce. We got the barbecue. We got the ketchup. We got all of that good shit. Okay, we got a little wench. Okay. You know what I mean? It ain't a sweet and sour. Okay, we got all that shit. You heard me? Whatever dipping sauce you need. You hear me? And once yes. again, yes. like we yes. said, we got to bless our ass. I said, 
Bless our ass. Are you ready? Because we're going to drop it. I gonna... said, are you Are you ready? Are you ready? Uh, I said, are you ready? Oh, yeah, now. Nah. Uh-oh. She's coming in and she's coming in hot. We don't know how hot Martine, but you, ma'am, you get a fuck out of here. here. Okay? I don't understand you, Martin. Man. What's your problem, Martin? Okay? You cannot do it like this, Martin. Okay? Oh, oh. <laughs> what, what, what's, what's happened for you? Oh, oh. No, 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 no. You cannot do it like that. That's no good. No good. Okay? No. I don't I like it, Martin. No. No good. Okay? Now, as we come in hot, folks, as we come in hot, we got to keep on moving to the next situation and plunder. You know, American politics is next American up on the politics list. Now. And boy, is American politics hot right now. You want to start off with Mr. Trump? Hell yeah. All right. This is also coming in hot off the press today. Now, <clears throat> Mr. Trump and his little phone interview, phone call in on the uh, radio station, uh, not radio, the uh TV station today. I think it was Can't Fox. remember. It might have been Fox, if I'm not mistaken. And he shared his words to the attunement of saying, of course, that yes, America has an immigration problem, but he goes on an extra step to go in about Haitian immigrants with what's going on with Ice T right now. And basically, what his words were was that Haitians coming in creates a problem. For America, in the sense that they're coming in sick, he used expressly the term AIDS. That Haitians have AIDS, and that with them having AIDS, they're sick, and when they come, you know, no one tests them. So, you know, that'll be a problem for the country, and we can't, you know, that's just a mess. We can't let things like that happen in this country, and and so on. So, this is what the ramble was about with Mr. Donald J. Trump. Who right now is not too much coming in hot, but we got to address it for what it is, people. Now, one thing we got to know about Mr. Trump. Trump did not, I repeat, Trump did not get support or backing from the Haitian people. <laughs> and this is way before he had anything slick to say about shithole, about what he's saying now, about any of that. You know why? Because let me tell you how rich people operate. People who are wealthy, especially who grew up around people who have always had it. There's never been a position where they didn't have it. They don't give a fuck about people's feelings. That's the last thing on their minds. They're about winning. If they set out to do something, they want to win. So there's no sense in defending what he said, but we give it a dynamic. This is an old, rich, white man who's been a fucking millionaire to billionaire his whole damn life, who's hung around... Some of the most beautiful people in the world, the richest people in the world, so on and so forth, that have been black. Plenty of them, by the way, which we went into that whole thing way before how they got them into rap songs and all kind of shit. But where I'm getting at with you is that Ice, you can't try to come and act like you tight now. Because when he said, rally behind me so we can motherfucking make a difference in second term about y'all situations, what the fuck did y'all do? Y'all turned your fucking back on him and thought Mr. Biden... Fake ass Joe, the real oh, Joe ass, the real fucking racist whose daddy been a racist for day one, uh, allegedly with these occult K -K -K. groups or whatever the case, case was. We talking about founder type K -K -K shit, Grandmaster shit. Lodge type shit. You said no. Biden gonna make us stay. We gonna get the TBS. Papa we gonna Biden. stay, Papa Biden. You know, Disney. you gonna give me the papier. I'm going to stay in the country. That's what y'all thought. He came in little Haiti and put on that shit show. Fucking bending his knee in Little Haiti, doing his own rituals without y'all stupid asses knowing he was doing rituals in Little Haiti, okay? And y'all fell for the fucking bait. Y'all fell for it. Now, we already done had this conversation a long time ago. I'm not going to touch back on the elections, the cheating, the, all that bullshit where it really should be. Trump should be president at this fucking moment. That's for sure. But the reason why he lashes out the way he does is because he didn't fucking get no backing from Haitian people. Haitian people cannot try to act like hypocrites. I don't fucking agree with what he said, but this is a young, I'm saying young, yeah, fucking right, an old rich, you know what I'm saying, fart, who said like, yo, I could have fucking had y'all back. It was the same way when he said, black America, I got 500 billion, what's up? What y'all want to do about business? What y'all want to do about infrastructure? Now we look at what's fucking going on. Biden is fucking defunding colleges right now. Universities. 
The guy that said he was supposed to enrich and put money into the fucking community is doing the opposite. That's another situation for another no, time. I ain't going to go ahead myself on that, 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 but it was just, it was on the line. I had to. What I'm saying to you is, though, you can't be in your feelings now because Trump said this shit when you ain't fucking want to stand behind his ass and he had real fucking plans where he wanted to look out. But y'all go off the fear of what everybody else got going on. Y'all was worrying about what fucking Mexico was thinking about Trump and wasn't fucking worried about what Haitians should be fucking feeling about Trump. Rich, I will stand by what I said from jump. Trump would have been fucking doing 10,000 times better of a job with the immigration situation when IET, I closed my eyes and bet money on that than the way the fucking Biden administration is handling it right now, which is they ain't doing shit. They just deporting their asses right back. They don't give a fuck about the inhumane treatment. They don't give a shit. They bringing thousands, 90,000 of Afghan. Trump will not do that. Fuck no. I can tell you that much. That's a fact. But anyway, fuck all that. My point is this. What you guys expect out of a motherfucking old head that have been living in a time that all his buddies are, it was a badge of honor to be fucking racist. That's how shit was at one point. How much you can tuck down to anybody else that's not them, not in their fucking circle. So this is no surprise. We know that. But again, what I want y'all to understand, and I told y'all, this is what you call a time travel. I told you time travel what? is not so much a physical thing. It's bring that energy Be shit back. back. You bring that shit. energy Talk. back, Work. okay? This is what did happen, okay? It's time travel. You don't understand they're bringing this time back because Trump about to be the next president, the next election, because he want to drain, he want to bring that time of Ronald Reagan, and Trump going to die on this shit because they already predicted this shit that he's going to get shot, just like Ronald Reagan got shot. So they are bringing this time travel An because era. before Reagan era, that's what happened. It was around, like, what, the, the, the early 90s, right. right after Reagan, when they said the Haitian got AIDS. That's right. your time travel again. And your they bring that shit in. That shit. Okay? Right. So now, understand, do the facts is real? Do Haitian bring... Did, did what Trump said is true? This the thing, though. What he said, is this true or not? Understand. He said the people they bring into the border. He's not saying people they bring from Haiti. The people they bring into the border. Fact right now. People from Haiti, AIDS is only 2% in Haiti right now. Okay? 2%. This shit just damn near don't exist. Exist. don't exist. So people living in Haiti don't have AIDS. This Thanks. is not what the conclusion in the, in the talk is about. The talk is about the border, the trajectory, the, the walk. Everybody that walked to come to this state, it's not just only a Haitian thing, but you know, since, Haitian, since Haitian is the conversation, Highlight. that's what he's talking. But every motherfucker that walked to come here, they all mostly, most of them got AIDS. Because guess what? There's a rape culture in the motherfucking route. I repeat, there's a rape culture on the route. This is the real conversation y'all need to talk about is why they don't put a stop to it. Like hmm. I was saying, that why abuse. the United Nations and the human rights don't put a stop to the people getting raped on their way to here. This is why they contracted the AIDS by being raped by hmm. these motherfuckers. Because they have to travel so many different countries. They have to travel Brazil. They have to travel... Um, Nicaragua. They have to travel so many other ones before they finally hear each and every other of these borders. They're getting raped, and they don't give a fuck. They rape men, men, women, and, women. and children. So to me, this sounds like an agenda to in to completely like to get the people infected on purpose to get there in order to find a way to stop them from getting there, and then to bring them to take them right back over into the country so they can Deport go and spread them. that disease, spread that disease out now. There you Since go. Since they know IET does not have an AIDS problem. What better way to say that they have now issues or to infest them since they don't want to take the vaccines and follow the quote unquote protocol of right COVID and all that bullshit? Why? What's the best, easiest way to do it? Go around the back door with that bullshit. Now, wrong is wrong. The motherfucker ain't got no sense for saying what he said. Nobody's Period. agreeing with this asshole. What we're saying here, though, is if you dissect what was said, there is a very sad undertone to what he said in terms of the treatment that the Haitian people are receiving or received in this particular function going to the border. Not Del Rio, Texas, that fake ass shit. Because here go the story again. Mexico just deported only 149. And that was a huge deal. 149 from Mexico got back on a flight. You're going to tell me how we said before in Alaska. We're not going to go too much, but tens of thousands just all of a sudden disappeared. We showed you the fucking 
microphone, lights, camera, the lights, action. camera, it action. It was a stage. Bullshit. It was a movie that was For made. Del Rio. But you have to understand, there's a mass ritual going on right now, and they need the Haitian energy and the Haitian blood and the Haitian attention because they know whenever somebody says Haiti hey, across the world, all eyes turn. Listen, the money that was given to IET, no lie. How America, how the world, fuck America, how the world showed up for IET when that earthquake in 2010 hit, IET should be fucking looking like Miami right now. With the kind, with the heaviness that of money. the money. Miami, you hear me? It's supposed to be a motherfucking premier spot in the Caribbean right now. If that money wasn't fucking stolen. By the Clinton. By the UN. By the same motherfuckers. Okay. But that's another story for another day. Anyway, so the bottom line is, he, this motherfucker gonna always telling you the brutal fucking truth. And again, we, we, we not expecting nothing out of these motherfuckers, like I said. We are being leaded by two old farts. This is the saddest Shit, story of our future. We, the next generation, being led by two old farts that living in a world that racism was the greatest honor you can fucking get. At that time, that's, right. that's who they fucking are, okay? So now, my other side of the truth that nobody wants, this is what I call the red motherfucking pill. That's the pill that Haitian people, my brother Haitian people, got to fucking swallow, okay? Not the blue Cause that the blue keep us asleep. This nigga keep giving you the red pill. So I hope everything that he said stings so hard so we start understanding that nobody loves us and we have no motherfucking friend. What the fuck we gonna do? We so we only got we shit. only got one way out of this bitch. We need to devour any motherfucker on our way of getting right. That's it. Heads fuck everything. It don't matter. Show way. your motherfucking thief and start right. eating these niggas. Heads I mean, on the state. mean it. Anybody in this government, every motherfucker that's in our way of getting this place to move forward, hmm. we coming for you because nobody love you. And it's over. And this idea, thinking that you're going to go back, you're going to walk your way, or you're going to run your way to some other people's country, or you're going to find... This shit ain't happening. Ancestors this ain't nigga, happening. The ancestors inspired that bitch-ass nigga to say what he said to fucking give you the fire that you need to do something about it. Because nobody going to do shit for you. It's the rage. On, unless you do Will it. you use this rage Okay, and use that fucking rage. Harness this energy. Why do you think all over there's an APB to just be sending IECM back? Think about it. Mexico, uh, fucking so-called Del Rio, Texas, or whatever the fuck. We know that's bullshit, but what's this grand APV about every time you turn around? It's now not about Mexican immigrants anymore, <laughs> not Chinese immigrants and shit, but Haitian, 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 it's Haitian, that energy, Haitian, man. Haitian, Haitian. They got something up their fucking sleeve. They playing it's games. We energy. already know there was another earthquake followed by a flood, and all of that shit still same it's thing. Haitian, 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 Man-made Haitian. situations, but on the other token, when we say man-made, who spiritually lets it happen? Ancestors move and run everything. So who gave them the fucking opportunity to play like that? To keep on terrorizing y'all like that, to terrorize that sacred land like that because y'all not fucking vibrating right on the sacred land. We not Our ancestors pissed off every time they fucking look at you. You looking for a handout. You looking to run instead of join forces with each other. You could spend 10,000 racks. You could spend 17,000 17, racks. racks man. You feel me? But you can't fucking do that with your brother and sister in the exactly. country and get a school open in the area, a fucking hospital open in the no, area. Listen, come man. on, man. What kills me is the chance that these people take to come here, dog. So you take that chance with your life, but you can't take your fucking chance with your nation. You can take that chance to build your own. For your children. Yo, this shit don't don't this shit don't add up. So you know you're gonna get butt raped. After your 17 fucking thousand dollar nigga, you gonna get raped. You're gonna get humiliated. Embarrassed. And oh, you still crazy. swallow your fucking pride and still like, nah, nigga, I'm coming to America. And then no guarantee. No guarantee. On top of that. That's the crazy shit. That, so, that kills me. Imagine all of this effort and all of this shit that you got. You understand how your mind got to be? How you condition your mind? You condition your mind to a position like you ready to do whatever. But you couldn't do that for home? Word. You couldn't do that for IET? When I when IET did it for you? When our ancestors did it for you? So you have what it takes, but you chose to not take responsibility. I said, you have what it takes, That's but right. you're not taking responsibility. So when Trump talking like this, this is not Trump. This is what the ancestors is inspired as to fucking do. To talk shit so you have your fire lit up to take responsibility and do what needs to be done. It's nothing else. A fucking revolution. 
And now for motherfuckers out there looking at me, yeah, nigga, look at you. You talking that shit. Look, ask yourself this. What do I have for me to talk like this? I might, look, I don't need to do this. I don't need to talk like this. I can go on with my fucking life with my beautiful wife and my baby. I, I'm good. I'll be fine. I'll be the next motherfucker that don't give a fuck about nobody. I'm still doing my fucking part. My part is to tell you what you're not seeing. My part is to inspire you. Maybe you have something in you that's not lit up yet that I'm doing my fucking part. So you think if I was in these people's condition, you think I'd be like this? No, I already dead. I would already been fine. I'd probably kill a couple of these motherfuckers by now. Suicidal shit. Work. But at least I know I let my ancestor know. In this alternate universe, I did my part. So my next universe... I'll be good because I'll work for my next universe to be good. That means it's a chain reaction. There's a lot of multiverses connected. Based on this here, if you ignore here, there's another universe taking effect from it. So, therefore, if you fail, then the fuck is going to happen. Talk to him, brother okay? Hero. So, Talk this is what we're talking about we're here. coming in real hot, and I'm talking about fire hot. I don't know what the hoot name. I got to tell all of you people, but the shit is real, okay? The ancestors are speaking to Nye, okay? You better act like you know. Fou accept you pour gagner mon monde à nous. Yo pa jam suspend pa parler nous mal. Tout côté ne passer à faire mes portes sous. Tout côté ne passer à foutre nous coup de pied dans monde à nous. Pas un côté craint, pas un monde qui remet nous. Qui l'en a décidé pour nous dire Abraham dit cette assez bâti mon ça ne remet dit mettre grand dans monde dans fond battant fond révolution fini. Parce que nous pas jeune tirer ce calotte monde encore. Pas un monde capable accepter non encore. Tout monde a parlé mal à prendre ça avec nous. Pour ça ne pas mettre grain dans monde à nous pour pour ça ne pas utiliser honte ça comme 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 une énergie pour faire ça n'a fait en fini. Listen here, listen here. Bonjour vous révolter. Et listen. Liberté c'est prendre pour prendre. Hey, okay? All right. Word. So we about to move in that out of this. Moving out of this. Well, um, hey, what did American politics? Was there anything else that you wanted to touch on on our specific situations? I know Trump was talking that bullshit, but you know, fake Joe over there with them 96, 90, however many thousand fucking troops, he, you know, people, we saying well, they really are troops, but so-called, he say people he want to bring in. You know the bullshit. But understand, like, like I said, this, this Haitian shit is a smoke screen. I, I said it, I'm going to set it over. They are bringing other troops into the U.S. soil, but they're going to keep bombarding you with this Haitian distraction so they can pass out all of these foreign troops that they want to bring here to assist them with this so-called invasion because they're planning to invade the American people here, and the best way to do it is to do it without them knowing. As because, always. As always. So why do we all focus on Haitians? They are bringing these motherfuckers here. Hmm. Okay? But so they that's real the deal. So Fact. don't see the shit for nothing else but a motherfucking smoke screen and nothing else. So pour why you see for a semio Noel, pas un monde qui rien mais nous. Ça veut dire mais grand dans monde d'am nous manger quelque soit monde qui pour qui pas veut bien net nous. Seul mouri qui gagne. OK? Seul mouri. Ou seul mouri qui gagne. Ça veut dire que la il qui ça la mort, liberté ou la mort, right? You already know. So That's it. we got this one Live last free part. Or die. I have to talk about Shout this. Shout out to Maya Gibbs. Y'all make sure you get in the like One buttons up, sharing the live. Appreciate you. Appreciate you, sis. Support the channel. Support the movie. You're on the screen. Laugh and cry. Talk shit. So take it with you. Yeah, yeah. You, you, you. you. Dude, this Come in is, on the drip and drip and drip. I don't know if you don't take your dip of your BBQ. I don't know if you don't took your dip of this and that. We got another thump thump shit. Oh, this was exciting. And this is very, oh, this was very, very, exciting. very important. Yes, 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 yes. Because, yes, again, yes. I called this shit out years ago, probably two years way before, and I told you it's going to be a time a secession start. The movement of secession is going to happen. Who knew IET would have been the first one now again? Peak game. Peak game now. And that's Peak why game. I told you, whatever happened to IET bound to happen here. Florida's not making an official. Florida, we know they're making the move. They behave like that. But they're not making it known to the world. And guess what nation that making it known to the world based on everything that's happening? Once again, this is very important what just happened here. Now, for some people now, in my point of view, with other people, do I agree with it? Yes, I agree with it, but I'm not going with, with it all the way. But this is a necessary act, maybe, to ignite the necessary energy and bring out forth truth for everything to come down to where it needs to be. Now, what we all witness here, this picture we are seeing with this flag 
this is happening in IT right now. There's a region in IT that declare they own independence out of the union from Haitian government. Nah, I repeat, nah, yo, yo. just shit that I was telling y'all, I told you it would be a time in America a lot of states going to start to secede out of the union. Guess what nation that did it first? IT. So what that tells you, it's coming here. I repeat, it's coming here. Okay? Yeah, man. Now, this region of Haiti called Wanamit. Wanamit declared themselves independent now. They said, fuck this government. Fuck everything. We declare ourselves a republic of our own. We are independent now. Okay? And they come up with a flag. Check the flag, y'all. Check the flag out. And they're going to take mean, a meeting. Break, yo, break listen, me down. Man. Break me down. Wipe they come out. up Wipe with their flag. Wipe they they draft their little constitution. Think about it. Now, my question is, this is not something somebody can just come up just like this. Not at this all. This is year in the making. Planning, This yes. is not something that just happened. Somebody decided like, no, oh, no, you no, know, no, 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 no. they just pop up. Like, no, this is year in the making. That means somebody was sitting and thinking. That's because right. what's so important, this flag, this flag is a motherfucking good. That shit got a powerful vibration. Does, very, That's really why does. I kind of like, yo, this shit is not a joke. This very shit have so. a powerful vibration because whoever did this, they think about it, they sit down, and they all agree. There's a unification of energy that go, that's behind this agenda Very right powerful. there. Okay? Very powerful. So this is no fucking joke. This okay? is some good news. That's, that's, that's <laughs> some good news. So now, America, you next because your twin has spoken. Like I said, Haitian politics is motherfucking American politics. Reflect but America this. is building in the misery of IET. Okay, they want to keep Haiti in the misery to drain their life force. But guess what? Mother Nature never allowed things to be one way. One way or the other, there's a flip going on. So America, you either join force to build the entire fucking America. Make America great once for all. That's right. Not once, not 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 again. No, once and for all. When I mean America, if if United States is the motherfucking powerful and the leader of the world, build the fucking America. Like man. they say they is. Like build the America. Come on now. Build the America. Build okay? the Caribbean. The Caribbean. Make it one. Everyone Shit. in the fucking America live in large. Make it one. That's the point. You want to stop one. immigration problem? Build the motherfucking Caribbean. Build the fucking South America. Get your factories That's how to be out you there. Stop all of this. Give the jobs. Build it. Okay. Word, like, That's stop it. playing. Like you so a superpower if you ain't coming through like one. Because China got y'all looking real stupid right now. I'm going to say it. That's what's all. China's showing you how to fucking get done. That's what's I'm all. I'm going to keep it real. I don't, I don't fuck with communism. But truth is truth. This is what we do here. We're not trying to pick inside and shit. We pick the side of truth. And we are willing to die for the truth. One thing about China. We don't fuck with communism. But China, they know how the to structure. fucking play the game. Mm -hmm. They will build you even though they're trying to slide to take over. But I don't care. At least in the eyes of others. The illusion in the building process. They'll build the fucking place they fuck with. That's it's a right. fact. Any nation China fuck with. They build the motherfucker from ground up. So True. why America? We the baddest, the strongest and everything. All we do is fucking shitting on everything else. And like everybody truly. else. And then we call ourselves that we the mighty of all. And then we all we fucking do is, is leave everybody like crackheads. Like seriously. What the fuck is this? Word. So that's why I constantly wonder if America ever been running by Americans. That's what I want to fucking ask. Because it's it's not adding up at all. Not even close. For, to have Haiti in the fucking back door. We talk about an hour and a half to go to Haiti. An hour and a fucking half you be in motherfucking Haiti. From Florida to, to, to Haiti, an hour and a half. And this fucking place to look like a fucking shade hole for real? This is a fucking shade hole? How the fuck? With IT having so much riches and so Come much on, fucking son. wealth. Yo, like, it's not bad enough. The simplest thing would be to build it up. This is why China might take over the fucking world. Because mm -hmm. there's a principle they don't violate. That's right. There's a principle they do not violate. They know the slow burn principle, which means even if I want to conquer you, but I allow you to grow. So even though I conquer you, you were still in the process of feeling how to grow yourself. Did you understand? Truth. America put a fucking boot on your fucking neck. You can't even live. You can't even breathe. Hmm. So you think hmm. the universe is going to grant you, granted you leadership for long? Mm-mm. And IETU will be America downfall if the American people don't take fucking action. Because these corrupt government giving us all these fucking bad names.
our reputation is ruined all over the fucking world. That's true. Because, because of these co op fucking government. Word. It's about time we, the people, stand up and say, enough is enough. We're going to restore our fucking reputation. It's about time. And to do that, we must treat it, our neighbor, treat it, our bloodline and family better. It's a fucking shame. So, once again, shout out to Solar Moon. Shout out to Bookman Kai Mabwama. Shout out to the to Rada Great One Love. So now we're gonna dive in to this picture here to explain to you what the people of the, the of the Republic and about. the concept of what they are declare themselves independent from Haiti government or from Haiti itself. Right. Okay. So now, now it's Creole. So I'm gonna go through it and explain it in English. It said that gouvernement coubeli bien pas pour salier et remercier tout peuple là à gouvernement ami dans communauté internationale là qui qui ca corer nouveau république créole là wanamet qui déclare indépendance li dans logique pour démarquer de mauvaise gouvernance république d'Haïti et puis pour progresser tant coup tout l'autre pays gouvernement a rappelé le monde entier que décision ça pas un jouet et nous en et nous indépendant tout bon pour la paix, sécurité, progrès et toute petite à petite petite nouveau république wana metlan ka vive tant kou moun c'est sous parole ça au gouvernement a profiter présenter le monde entier drapeau nouveau république là qui symbolise yon peuple majorité noire ak milat qui établi qui établi yo yon côté un soleil qui levé tout côté ak yon peuple jaune en tant en attendant, strict si poli, diplomatique pour établir lien à toute l'autre nation sous la terre, tout le monde gouvernement république wana metlan continue à travailler ensemble sans faire bri avec bon jeu stratégie pour reprendre contrôle toutes ressources à richesse république là pour servir nation convenablement pour parler pour aller nous pour aller lentement et c'est Certain ensemble ak pep la na privé. So pretty much, they let you know they forged the republic. This is a republic between black and mulattoes and other people of color all over. There's willing to work with them. Together. So all bet they let you know they not discriminate against their own citizens. Correct. Like I was saying for the fucking Haitian people, this notion that every motherfucker, once you light skin or you a mulatto, you are enemy of the state. And I always been told you, this is not the way the nation's design. supposed to be. And it was by design because they understand if you're going to keep these people separated, keep those two fighting each other. Same shit has happened here in America. Same shit they've been producing and promoting everywhere else. Because when you say mulatto, you pretty much mean the children of the white man or the children of the black together. So if that children decide to learn or decide to take the wealth from the white people and bring it to you, they know they'd be fucked. So they do not want that. And that's why they make Haitian one of the heroes, one of the founding father as one of the greatest enemy or has Haiti number one enemy. They call it Pétion, okay? Alexandre Pétion, which is a Haitian founder father, they told you that he's responsible to kill Destiny, which is a lie. They put, again, like I explained this shit a million times, but in this right there, in the declaration, whoever made this, correct that mistake. And he told you, mulatto and black are motherfucking one in majority. And they about to build the nation together. And any other race with color, wherever you are, they're willing to participate. But the Haitian people know that mulatto and dark skinned people are one. So they did this shit right. And once again, if you're looking at the way they position the 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 color, it's not it's not it's not uh, um it's, it's horizontal. It's not flat down. That mean the energy stand up. That is well thought. And they put the sun. The sun, you got to understand, they put the sun. The sun is the symbol symbology of what the native. I repeat, the sun is symbology of the native. And what color they have? What? Red, black, black. yellow? This is what the native, this is 100% native stuff right there. So again, they are inspired by something. There's a divine intervention working with this. Whether this should become, a, become for real, for real or not, but this is a first start so they telling you there's an energy that want to de-associate itself right, from with the corruption that want to de-associate itself with fuckery so america you 
are next. So definitely shout out to the people that come up with this. Because right now there's a lot of confusion. People talking, oh, these oh, motherfuckers, cool there's another it's form. true and not. You know what I'm but saying? I saw, we saw identification cards of a gentleman. That okay. was established. So, hey, you know, um, somebody's working. And for that bunch that are working, we stand behind you. I said it. We stand Either this you. should become real or not. Because I know it might feel, some people might feel this is another extra branches of division to keep us more divided. I understand that aspect. But this is a necessary act maybe to wake our motherfucking ass up to see that some people's not playing around with y'all fuck asses. Some people are not going to sit around and watch y'all playing like children. Watch y'all fucking stealing and teething y'all motherfucking way and y'all cool ass to oblivion. Some people decide to do something about it. That's why I like. I like the act of urgency and the act to tell everybody that we're not fucking around. Some people want to do something about it. That's right. That's what I like about this. And shout out to one I'm in. And shout out to the people that are willing to do that. So That's now right. what I'm hoping, others do the fucking same. Come on. Okay? Come do on. that too. Maybe all of these niggas gonna realize, oh shit, I'm not gonna be the one leading nothing anymore because right. people take their own destiny in, in their own hands. hands. That's right. That's I what bo- I like. I bombe. I bombe. I for that. That's and right. I know America, you are next. And I know Miami already been acting on its own anyway. So all this shit right here matter is gonna become a trend. So matter it's a matter time. of time. So definitely, we are moving. Out of this. Moving out of the politics, it seems now we can safely say we touched on a little here, a little bit of there, a little sprinkle here, a little sprinkle there. Yes, indeed, you're tuned in. Show some, get, get, get some fire up laugh, in this damn chat and share the live, share the live up in this blood motherfucker. Clean, chopped up, chopped up, chopped up, fire, 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 button, 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 button up. Because, yo, we're coming in hot, people. All right, right here, right now, on the screen, laugh and cry, talk, show. You're hearing it here first, and you're only going to hear it here raw and in style. Okay, people, this is what we do. This is why we're here. We give you a different spin on it all, okay? Yes, indeed, coming in hot. Oh, just coming back over to here. So, like I said, uh, you got to call a spade a spade. You got to call it for what it is. In the contrary to what your boy was saying about the other shit he talked about. Well, here, <clears throat> the difference, one thing we can say, black lives matter, black colleges, black universities. This is a sad one. You're definitely getting some negative points here. Okay, you're not coming in too hot. Look at this bullshit here. Trump, back in... 2019 of December signed a bill restoring funding for black colleges. Okay? Restoring. All right? From what the Democrats had did previous. Then your boy Joe Bo Biden comes in with his quote-unquote budget and cuts $30 billion with a B, you hear me, in funding for black colleges. <laughs> now, you do the math. $30 billion in funding is cut off for black colleges, but the damn fool is bringing in 90,000 Afghans. So now you see where your money, black people, is going. Instead of the school and education and shit we need for these universities and for everything, it's going to some fucking foreigners to come and invade your country. Fact. You better act like you're getting in on these politics. This shit affects you. It affects your children trying to go to college. Hello, her. You know, you know what's so important about all of this? It's the hypocrisy once again. You Come know, on, now. It's the hypocrisies of, of now people want to get involved. Like, you don't. We, you know what? Once again, it shows you that our people, we have nothing else but puppets and, and motherfucking coons, whatever name you call it. They put them in place because they understand black people. All we do is follow leaders. We know we because, you know, it shows that we are psychological. We still like a child. We still not evolving consciously. So we're not thinking for self. We constantly need a puppet somewhere to teach us how to behave, how to walk. And this is where these celebrity comes in. Because, you know, if we was thinking as individuals in America, if we was our own people where we can do the thinking ourselves, we should automatically know anybody that they were willing to, to spend money on our education spend money on our infrastructure. We don't give a fuck about anybody else what they have to offer because that person shows this is what he's doing. We down with you. That's what the, the platinum, uh, um, the platinum, um, what you call it? 
the platinum the platinum bill mm -hmm. was between right. Ice Cube and this Trump administration. Mm -hmm. And once again, I don't give a fuck about Trump. All I care about is my people, if America will get better. Again, I don't mm -hmm. I don't know this motherfucker. You don't know me. I'm not living in this house at the end of the day. We all got to wake up and go to fucking work. It's about policy. If this shit's going to affect me, my children, my future, if this shit makes sense for the people, for the American people, if this shit is adding up, and guess what? His shit was adding up. We was on the plus size of shit, not on the negative. Now look where the fuck we at right now. On the negative side of shit. All because we allowed these so-called leaders, so-called celebrities, all these so-called athletes to make decisions for us, and this is what you got in return. And what's so sad? You're not hearing shit. You're not hearing these motherfuckers in the radio, specifically you talking about um, Charlemagne and all of their asses that always constantly say, you know, they're proud to come from H H H U B H B C U and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And guess what? This nigga just slash up some money. He take out that much amount of money. Nobody talking about it. Everybody stay quiet, though. Everybody stay quiet. You know what I'm saying? So once again, truth is coming out, and this shit ain't adding up for our people, man. That shit adding up, so... That part. That part. We should start right. The, the school, the black colleges, yeah. supposed to protest this motherfucker by now. Guess what? Yeah. Nobody seen shit though. Not a damn thing. Nobody seen shit. I ain't shit. seen nothing about it. You Have you me? seen anything about? I ain't seen nothing about it. Not one part. Everybody stay quiet. Once again, but we ain't gonna stay quiet though. We uh, we we gonna bless his ass though. That's for sure. You know what I'm saying? It's it's we, we, not a game. We're we, we going to bless his ass. We, it's not a game. It never has been. It's not a game. So, within that said, as we continue to come in hot, and we didn't get to get Mr. Trump, look here. <laughs> I got to give it to you, bro. Before I move on, Trump ain't buying no bitch. Ass. Look here. Y'all both my foes get eh, 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 fuck out of here, okay? <laughs> I don't understand you, man. What's, What's your, your problem, problem man? man? <laughs> you have a problem with me? Eh, eh, eh? What's your problem? <laughs> eh? You want to come in? You want to come? I don't understand. Eh, eh? What's your problem? Yo, they got to chill. But only we can make them chill. Because they'll keep on fucking around if we don't get to it. So, within that said, shout out to everybody in the chat. Shout out to everybody watching the screen, laugh, and cry. Talk show. Now that we got more of the serious shit out the way, Oh, we're coming in hot. There's a lot to talk about in entertainment, people. Entertainment's going to be heavy, so make sure you get your tea, you get your wine, you get whatever the hoot nanny you need, because we're coming in and we're coming in explosive. We're coming in chili pepper hot. Pew, 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 pew. Okay? <laughs> okay? Yeah, that part. That so now, part. <clears throat> coming on and along, uh, this young lady here, this some bullshit right here, y'all. On entertainment, there's a lot of fuck shit going on in entertainment, right? But this is showing true colors right now. We're and talking. I'm loving it. If you're paying attention, some shit is coming out to light. It is spicy. Now, check it out. Summer was banned. This is Summer Walker. This is an artist, an R&B singer, okay? Uh, Summer was banned because she refused to get the COVID-19 vaccine. According to MTO News sources, this is a media takeout, while Summer had not been vaccinated, she had tested negative for COVID on the day of the show. That's but what makes it that work. wasn't good enough for the African American Music Network. Is this BET we talking about? That's BET, man. BET told a pole girl, artist supposed to come and perform and everything. This girl done featured and with Usher. She doing her thing. Talented young talented. lady. Talented young lady. Um, and this some bullshit. This some real bullshit right here. So they basically trying to let you know uh, ain't nobody exempt from this fucking diabolical ass plan. Fact. Okay? Now we did know, we always say it's pro-choice. You can get whatever you want. You but for the fact that she got denied no. after testing negative exactly. is the shit that lets you know what kind of fucking control freak show is this? They, exactly. That shit's supposed to make you think what the fuck is really going so on. So basically they, sh they come out with their true colors. It shows you once again since the hospital said you're going to get te tested twice a week just because they know what they're doing is wrong. They still allow you to get tested. For this chick to actually get tested in, and that shit come out negative, 
So by law, even though you whatever mandate you're doing is outside the law because it's not being passed by Congress, they don't vote for this shit. This is a mandate. A mandate means it's an opinion. If you do it, good. But if you don't, I don't have the law backing it up to say that I must force you. This is how these motherfuckers been bluffing for so long. And we, the people in America, we so not educated about nothing dealing with the Constitution or the law. We allowing these motherfuckers to do what they're doing. This is what you call magic. This is what you call ritual. This is what you call spam. Because they're getting away with all of this, but there's no backing behind it. It don't matter how much the fucking news is going to keep telling you, oh, you know what They know they don't have the shit legislate. There's no legislature behind it. It's not voted. Nobody vote for this. So it's not a law. But this chick still complying by the rules, still fucking take the test, Makes and they still think. deny it. Interest to go and, and perform. Right, you, and in a black television place. Ain't that some shit? What's up with the soul and looking out for the people? Right. Man. So why nobody, where are these artists? And so once again, they show you that black unity bullshit. It's, it's all a lie. Farce. Everybody using it to look good. They using it to make money. That's no fucking black unity. Why I'm not seeing all the, all, all the artists tweeting about it or talk about Word. this is wrong. What they did to her, it's, it's wrong. Why nobody saying nothing? Because once again, they show you everybody is nothing else but what? A celebrity bitch. Celebrity bitch. Okay. I They're all celebrity bitch. When you walk on four and take it where the sun don't, don't shine. shine. All right? Celebrity That's who bitch. they are. I tell you. Okay? So, yeah. my beautiful sister, shout, shout out, out to, to you. you. Okay? And you always been a little rebel. Okay? When Word. you're a rebel, it's nothing wrong. You just mean you question everything. That's, That's all right. it means. That's you right. Shout out to the sister. everything. And you talented, you beautiful, and I love your fucking music because you bring real R&B, real shit. You got mad talent, sis. And Word. keep it up. Okay? Don't let them shake Don't you, Don't let them shake Don't you. Don't let them shake you, sis. All right? Word. Shout out to you, you Summer you. Walker, y'all. All right One now. love. I eat bobo for Summer Walker. I eat bobo for Summer Walker, Summer Walker y'all. That's right. She's coming in hot, everybody. She's definitely coming in hot. <laughs> I'll say right here, right now, she's on Scream, Laugh, Cry, Talk Show, and she came in hot. We'll Appreciate talk. you. Now, moving along, people. Moving on along. There's a lot over here. Oh, uh, we want to talk about that Facebook shutdown. Oh, yes, indeed. That bro. Facebook shutdown, folks. That Facebook IG shut down the other day, which is why we didn't come to you on Monday. Hell yeah. There was some craziness going over there. What is the real meaning behind all this crazy Facebook and Instagram situation? What really took place? What in the hell going on? Allegedly, Facebook and Instagram threatened with, uh, with ban from iPhone after secret slave market uncovered on the apps. I repeat. Facebook and IG threatened with ban from iPhone after secret slave market uncovered on apps. Hold up now. Y'all thought that this shit was a joke. Not only did Facebook and IG go out, so did WhatsApp. What the hell was being hidden? The turn switch went off. We thinking technical, ain't technical shit. Everything is by design. Don't get it twisted. Allegedly, they told you your boy Zuckerberg lost $7 billion. In those couple of hours. That ain't really what was lost. There was a lot of people's information that was being compromised and gonna be sold on the black ah, market. Ah, there you go. All right. Okay. Black market selling of your fucking information. Okay. <laughs> that bullshit. And then now, how is it now this is being intertwined with a slave fucking market? What does the slave market mean, y'all? Anybody been paying attention? You know we talk about this all the fucking time. We're the only ones with the balls to talk about. Child fucking trafficking, trafficking. women yep. trafficking, human trafficking, organ trafficking. See, what people don't understand, man, there's a, something you call the black web that's connected straight to Facebook, okay? This is a different browser, all right, where you be able to, 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 to do shit outside of regulation, okay? So there's a show that they were, I mean, I was watching, you know, how you call that show again, boo? Start Up, and it was like, the way they depicted Haitians on that shit was some bullshit. But once again, this show called Start Up. It was all about a chick that know how to put up, you know, a web browser where mm -hmm. they try to have like another like Black a Google or search a engine right. where the, eventually the, the Haitian cat, his son come up with an idea where they can sell drugs in a, um, you know, in a, in, in a different, like they call it the, the dark web without being catching up and all that. So 
watch that show. I think they have two seasons, and the third season, I think it was on Krakow. It was not bad, but I just like this shitting on my Haitian culture, though. That's some bullshit. Hmm. That, that shit was like, yo, what the fuck? And this was not motherfucking Miami Little Haiti. This was somewhere in the Caribbean, <laughs> and they trying to act like this was in Little Haiti. They played all they, the nah, they, that, that, that shit was wrong completely. But what, what one thing the show did shows you is how the system operates with this so-called internet shit behind the black market. So pretty much Facebook have a dark web behind closed door where they conduct some crazy ass shit. And that's, i.e., that's what it was. And again, this dude, the CEO here of Apple, it's almost just like Steve Jobs. The reason why Steve Jobs so-called, they so-called said he died because pretty much he's not, he stepped down because he was not trying to get down with this new agenda of spying on every U.S. citizen hmm. with this fucking update, these Apple phone about to take over doing Okay, mm. all of these new updates, he was not trying. That was the only phone company that not allowed encryption to allow to bring data from people to bring it to the fucking market to use it as another form of da data selling. And this is what Facebook is doing. They are stealing our data and sell it to the black market. And these datas end up having a shitload of different event based on these data shit happen. For example, a lot of kidnapping and a lot of a lot of children end up missing. How do you think they're missing? These fucking Facebook datas. Because now they're selling your data. You Your data have what? Phone number, address. This is how these niggas end up going to people and kidnapping people. Because of datas. This is what they're not telling you. So all of this shit, this is what calls in your blackout. Because a significant amount of information has been stored somewhere. They already told you people is asking people for money to give them back their datas. Now ask yourself. You got phone lines. Not only phone line, you got card information, or anything, or credit card, card or whatever might be on there. It's pictures, wild, of course. emails. So you can only imagine how many people that they got this shit lock and load right now. I don't even want to call it a blackout. I feel like it's a hacking. They hacked motherfucking Facebook and they got some significant amount Not of people's shit uh -huh. stored because one day soon they're going to reveal a load of extra shit to the world. Okay? Or Facebook is just running the test. To see if it shut down the shit, how this shit's going to react. Because if they start to release an evidence, they might pull the plug. Because they don't want people to see what's about to go down. And so they're trying to do a drill to see how this shit's going to go down. They said this was coming. That's why they hmm. said for people to back All up the information, back up your things, store them on drives. Because, honey, there will be more of this coming. This is not the last time this is going to happen. Certainly not the last time. This next time it may happen, we may go on for some days if you fuck around. That's crazy, but we got to mm. we gotta be real with ourselves because it's possible. It's very possible in these times we're in right now. It's just wild. Uh, just to make a commentary, um, for the season of Gay Day, a specific spirit out of all of the Gay Days is being highlighted very heavily this year. Um, that would be none other than Gay Day Zalian. Zalian in Korea, yeah, Zalian um, translates as a spider, spider in English. That's your spider terminology. Man. And all that his energy represents is kind of like a spying energy, an energy that's watching, okay, in places and corners and areas where others cannot go through to watch, kind of like an undercover detective type that's of energy. That's why the spider has so many eyes, eyes represent correct? like cameras. Always watching everywhere, okay, in all aspects. So just understand that with that being said, energetically, even in the spiritual world, it is that time for the grand opening. Of true colors, of shit we wasn't ready, of chaotic shit we didn't even think we could hear in these times will start to be coming out to light. So that's why when we tell you to grab your damn popcorn, grab your shit, listen, the rodeo show has begun. Major death portal is opening, but at the same time, too, for those living here to see it, we about to see some information. This is a beautiful that, uh, time to be. We didn't think that we was going to see, they, that they, we were going to... It got to come out of light because we're in the scales of the Libra. It is Mayat order and balance. This is the season four before the end of this year. Shit is going to be, it's going to get real in terms of information that we didn't, of course, we've talked you guys through it, but many others, the sheep who've been sitting around with their fucking head in the clouds somewhere are about to catch some real live ass surprises. That shit ain't gonna this sit right. This is a beautiful time to be alive because that's the and point. And to be in the know. They, they trying to bring so much fear to blind you from what's coming because they know this is the greatest event of humanity ever been, the Great Awakening. 
This is what they're afraid because this is the time we finally will be free. Freedom is not you thinking about it. Freedom is do something about what's happening. It's not to shut the fuck up not saying anything. Say something. Do something. If, if what it takes for you to tweet something, tweet it. Let the world know how you feel because it matters. The universe is being built based to what you're saying and based to what you're thinking. So if you have the power to say something, say it. But they understand that if they keep you locked up with fear, and fear is, is one thing fear mm. is doing, control you. And the control right now is to voice your opinion. That's the ultimate control they want, is to completely lock your opinion away from you. Okay? So, yes. once again, a beautiful time to be. And we will move right forward. Right on along. Right on along. What you got? What you got? What you got? What you got, brother? Talk to us. Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go? Are we coming in hot, people? Now, you know. Wagwan, I gotta go meet my man. Oh, shit. Now, look here, y'all. Now, look here. Now, look here, look here, look here. Look here, here, look here. <laughs> Your boy Kanye West now with this sneaker line done got out of control. Now, we, we love you, Kanye. We appreciate you. We know you had went to IT and you said you want to bring some tech shit. And we appreciate you for that, for those thoughts and those words and having some moment with the people. Cool. However, with this sneaker shit, bruh, this particular design look like a blood clean beef patty. Yes, if, patty it, if it wanted a pussy all beef patty, me I go on over to Raymond. But me I don't want a blood clean beef patty. Me want blood clean sneaker for what my foot for wear. <laughs> so if me want for me blood clean sneaker for me wear them, <gasps> me can't put on a beef patty and my blood clean shoes. We are gonna say what? What the blood? Clean, what the blood? What the blood? What the blood? What <laughs> the fuck? Me I call Golden Cross, man. Me I'm gonna get a party, man. Me I'm gonna go on to Golden Cross and get me a party, but me not go and get it in a sneaker. <laughs> yo, what the fuck, yo, man? What the fuck, yo? Yo, what in the hell, Nanny? I don't know, what man. What in Lord's name are you doing, Mister? <laughs> and you call this a sneaker? You owe me to invest man. my dollars on a damn beef patty? Yo, I don't know, man. I can go to Golden Cross for that, man. Hello there. You're not coming in hot with no, this one here. Not, nah, Sorry man. you're not coming in hot, brother. <laughs> we got to bless us, ass. Okay? You, you play know, too damn much. Definitely. You play too damn much. You know you're going to get your ass blessed. Listen, I cannot right now with him. He okay. plays too much. He plays all the while too much. Okay? <sighs> And there's more fuck shit. Oh, listen, Mr. Kanye. I have to tell you one thing about the, the, this thing is this nigga. Okay? Okay? Let me tell you. I don't know what's your problem, man. I don't know this thing, you man. You might have to do it. Fuck Kanye! With that blood clean <laughs> beef patty sneaker. <laughs> oh, A beef patty sneaker, that. Bumbo. Yo. I can't. That was just nah. You nah, play too man. much. We, nah, we ain't taking yeah, no I can't more charge the people for a beef patty in a blood clean box. You can't do it. <laughs> Yo. We can't wear that. Oh, Yo, man. I can't with these people. They play too much. They yeah, play too damn much. But they'll prey on some stupid motherfucker. A motherfucker, you got to imagine. They going to get online. He going to go ahead and get his side. He going to wear that shit and think he is killing the game Yo. with a damn beef patty on his foot. Yo. You know what? Only in America. Period. That's all I can say. Only in America. Period. All right, now we're coming in hot, folks. Make sure you get the like buttons up. Make sure you get like buttons get up. Get the like button Let's up, share yo. this live. Let's get on the hoop nanny train because I got some shit to say. Put the get likes out. up. Put the likes up, y'all. Coming in hot, folks. Now, uh, <laughs> the next order of situation in business and uh, entertainment news, okay, of uh, a couple of celebrity bitch shit. Now, <clears throat> National Black Justice Coalition mm. urged Netflix to remove Dave Chappelle's The Closer Special. Now, okay. Before you get there. Because I want to read it. Before you read well, it. Well, all right. It's the hypocrisy once again. Where the fuck they were when these so-called Haitians and black brothers, the so-called black, I mean, this shit called what? It, it, just read the name, all right? <laughs> the Black Justice Coalition. Justice. So these folks don't need justice? The we know it was act. staged, uh, but still the act in the eyes of million, the eyes of billion from all over the world. So you don't think these people need your motherfucking black coalition? Where the fuck y'all was? Seriously. I didn't see you, player. You wasn't coming from the Himalaya. Partner. What? Partner. So pretty much, where the fuck y'all at when the justice need to get applied for? 
None of y'all niggas was showing up. So, so this shows you again, my brothers and sisters, when it comes for black motherfuckers systems, none of them fucking running in the benefit of black people. Because they ain't really okay? being run by motherfucking black people. That's so another situation. This is another black face scum system using our struggle to pass down their degenerate activity down the line. So once again, when real activity, when real call for them to show up to bring real justice, it had to do with what? Humanity, none of them matter. So now you want to talk about artificial bullshit. Now they're there. Read it for the, read that shit for well, the Well, um, here we go. Uh, immediately after its release on Tuesday, The Closer began receiving backlash over a series of anti-trans comments from the 48-year-old comedian. At one point during the gig, Chappelle declares himself a TERF, trans exclusionary radical feminist, and expresses support for J.K. Rowling, the Harry Potter author, who claimed trans women posed a threat to those who were assigned female at birth. Gender, quote unquote, gender is a fact. Every human being in this room, every human being on earth, had to pass through the legs of a woman to be on earth. That is a fact, Chappelle said. I am just saying that those pussies they, that they got, you know what I mean? I'm not saying it's not pussy, but it's beyond pussy or impossible pussy. It tastes like pussy, but that's not quite what it is, is it? That's not blood. That's beet juice. Well, all righty then. All right, now listen here, boy. Uh, so, I mm, want to be... I mean, you want you want to knock it down? No one the hoot nanny. You can go ahead and get all to right now. This is this is what I think. What we are witness here, it called context of war. We are engaging in a context war. This is psychological warfare of context. Understand, Chappelle have every motherfucking right to say whatever the fuck he want. This is individuality. This is his point of view, not my point of view, not her of point of view, not other point of view. This is freedom of speech being executed one-on-one -on -one right here and right now okay so pretty much we must understand the reason why they bring this pressure to him we are witnessing freedom of speech being eradicated in our fucking eye i repeat we are witnesses whoever down with this whatever feel like this nigga is supposed to get canceled this cancel culture is an agenda of censoring or destroy your freedom of expression this is what we are witness here now, R. Chappelle is right or wrong. This is his opinion. This is not what everybody thinks. This is what he thinks. So he still have the right to say what he want to say as an individual. You might not agree with him, but that's the point of life. You doesn't need to be agree with everybody. That's him and that's you. But now, talk about the truth. That's a truth underlying shit that nobody want to talk about. And this is why I want to bring this up because there's a darker agenda into this. But we are so conditioned to have emotion, reaction, we're not seeing a truth that we are being blind over. And the truth is, this lady that this Harry Potter chick, Harry Potter, whatever you call what she said, a threat to real women. I repeat, a threat to real human. Now, that threat she's talking about, and most people, she's going to think about this preference. No, we ain't talk about this, because at the end of the day, people are going to love what they love. And, and like I said before, I'm, ne I'm never going to be in between people happiness. If you want to become a transsexual, that's you. If this should bring happiness to you, go for it. That's what brings you happiness. Go for it. Because you need it to navigate in this bitch you call life. You need to be happy, right? Comfortable but in your skin. understand the threat she's talking about. What she's talking about is not you. It's not any transgender, anybody that's just going about their life. This is not, not you they're talking about. This all. chick is in the circle of these perv. This chick is in the circle of these so-called elite. This is a rich person in Hollywood at that. This is not a regular Joe. She's not talking about your regular broke-ass transgender or any other groups of people that are just out there trying to make a living and still trying to satisfy their desire. Correct. She's not talking about you. She's talking about the Fucking elite people that have so many so much time in their hand, and people access. that have a lot of money in their hand, people that have an unlimited access. This is the people she's talking about. When she said women threat, what the fuck you think the threat is? That trans women pose a threat to those who were assigned female at birth. Let's look at that. What is that? Mean? What is that threat? What's this threat she's saying? What is she really saying? Do you really want to know what she's saying? What it mean? Let me break it down to y'all. Come on in, 
being hot, brother. When you heard women being missing out here, what the fuck you think they're doing with them? Parts. Parts. Body parts. So you don't think now, you don't hear what these trans, these so-called rich transgender or these, these celebrity transgender saying? They want to have children. How the fuck you think they want to have children? They want to have transplant. Where you think they're going to get this transplant Trans body from? Mm. This yeah. is the threat she's talking about. But nobody will be able to get deeper into the conversation to see where she's going. They're going to label her as a bigot. They're going to label her, oh, she don't know, that's hateful. No, that's the truth she's talking about. So now that should become a demand. So now since this shit, just imagine now a transgender have so-called a surgery and this should become success, successful when they put a, a what they call it? A, a, a reproduction system inside of her Correct. and this shit is successful. Yeah. What do you think going to happen now? Every transgender now want to motherfucking have baby. So who do you think you're going to get consumed? All these women that keep oh. coming up missing. So you don't think about that. Okay, so this is the motherfucking threat they talking about. So right once again, this is what we do here. We bring you higher motherfucking thinking. We bypass the emotion. We bring you shit that your mind probably not thinking about. That's the fucking truth right there. Okay? So once again. That's what the situation is, the uh, name of the game. That's but right. it's just so interesting how, you know, they quick to want to cancel Dave Chappelle. But then again, you know, has Dave Chappelle been talking about anything having to do with the issues of our people? I ain't heard it in a long time. He makes his comedy. We appreciate from his, you know, him for his art or whatever he does. But, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, these be the same ones that be wanting people to stand and rally behind him. Oh, poor me. The right. fuck? What happened to the issues of the people and the shit we suffering here? Our people in America every fucking that's day. That's greater threat. That's greater issues to worry about this. That's this all. is once again. That's this all. is what we should thinking about. We need to be caring about shit that matters, not this. This is what you call human desire and human pleasure. This shit is not a threat to humanity. Lord have this must, is not a threat to I nothing else. I got to say else. this real quick. I'm okay? very happy somebody said, they said they found a grave. They found 40K women in a grave with all of them missing uteruses. There you go. Now, what the fuck? That's what... There you go. I rest my case. Ding, ding, ding. There you and go. And we're moving along, folks. Keep it coming in. Keep it coming in go. hot here. We've got more to talk about here. We've got more to talk <laughs> about up in here. There and you hot. go. Okay? okay. Now, <clears throat> there's this heavy squid agenda going on that we've got to talk about. The squid agenda. Nah, before I get to the squid, I got Where to you go to the you coming in hot? Well, it's up down there next. Yeah. yeah. Let me just get this out. Yeah, no, you, you pass. It's right here. Don't worry, brother. Uh, and so... Now we in Muffo Movies, okay? Right. Mo movie side of entertainment situation, we want to cover this. And uh, like I said, what's with this big squid agenda that's going on? There's a squid energy circulating around. And it's been circulating for quite some time now. We're going to touch base to show you some real serious relativity and symbology on what this squid means. Why the hell is it coming up now? And what it symbolizes with what's going on exactly in our society right at this very minute, okay, in time. So come through with that real quick. Yes, yes, this is something okay, definitely. Okay, y'all. Uh, y'all pay attention. I wanna, I wanna bring this up because you know, a lot of our people, man, y'all thinking movie is a joke, or are we just assuming somebody fucking around, they have nothing to do. Oh, somebody imagination. They just make this movie. One second, I told y'all, my favorite movie of all time was Prometheus. I said it a million times, but there's a reason why I love this movie because this movie has a level of frequency, a level of resonance. The moment you're watching this movie, there's something inside of you that's connected. You feel like, damn, and this shit, like, when I was watching this movie, I don't want this shit to be in. I don't want that shit to, I don't want this shit to be come to an end. I want this shit to keep going. And I don't know how many movies that I can say that over. It's probably the only movie because that's a level of truth in this bitch that resonated. So once again, I want y'all to see these pictures because I'm explain picture by picture so you guys see where I'm going with this. So with this picture here, you guys see what? A squid, right? A squid. But in the movie, remember, this squid come up from a woman, right? That's her belly right there. She was pregnant. Instant. But remember, that was an artificial intelligence on board, all right? That was an artificial intelligent intelligence on board. This is a cyborg. Remember that. The cyborg. I think Benderface, some, a guy, some, some Benderface, his name is called Benderface, okay? 
that was the one played that role. I don't remember the name of that, what you call cyborg. Okay, I don't remember his name. He was an android, to be fair. They built him. And the guy named Waylon, he was a billionaire, a trillionaire. He built that, that, you know, that android to help him or to help the fleet. Because, you know, to, to travel in different places, you need to sleep. You need to be in a sleeping pod. But you need someone to do the logistic while everybody's asleep. So they built that android to do the logistic work. But that android eventually is pick up information and evolving at the same time. So pretty much, just to cut the story, just go back for a quick second. Someone working, one of these so-called engineers on Facebook, he was having an interview in Disclosis. He said he stopped working with them because he discovered what they was doing and he felt like he can no longer be a part of this shit. This dude, with his testimony, said he witnessed and he was a part of a project that he witnessed we are creating God. He said, I repeat, he witnessed that we are in the process of creating God. Hmm. And this is what he said. So now when you say, what is Facebook? I said it a million times from previous movie that I break down. I told you Facebook is Skynet. Facebook and Google is Skynet. Okay? So once again, when he said yep. that he witnessed that they were creating God, that's pretty much Skynet. Because what he was saying is that how fast the system is learning, how the algorithm is picking up different access of what you call do and don't. That's how the algorithm works. That means any problem, a solution come. Any solution, a problem come arose. So it's constantly evolving. That's how much data, information, this machine is gathering per milli nanosecond. That means this machine is coming up with fucking problem, solution, problem, solution, instantly in nano millisecond. That means it's beyond your thinking process. Hmm. So when you're watching the Avenger, when they create the Vision Initiative, the Vision, remember who, who, Tony Stark. Tony Stark is pretty much what you will call Zuckerberg in a way. He created the Vision. Vision is what? It's an android with the soul stone, the ability to think beyond. So now, in Prometheus, that's that android for it. Waylon built this android that bypassed beyond human because this android was thinking as you behave around that that fucking android, this android is picking up facets of life based on people around him. So now this woman ended up being pregnant because this android was the one taking information and take the black goo and injected this woman with this shit. Now ask yourself, who the fuck is this android? That's your fact checkers. Your fact check, every time you put information on Facebook to defuse their lie, you finding this fucking box. This machine telling you, blocking your information, telling other people, oh, don't follow this page because this page have this information. Oh, block your information. This, this is false. Yeah. That, that's your androids for Prometheus right there working hand in hand for the bullshit to go down. Now, you see this woman pregnant, right? I go to the other pictures that you saw the... Now... You saw the, the squid, right? Now, we all know there's a picture that came out inside of the vaccine. They put this shit inside of the nano. Like, we talk about nano frames to see how small particle. They saw a motherfucking squid walking around, floating around the motherfucking DNA cells. And I repeat, the woman that did it told us this shit have an intelligence. That means it's aware, Okay. This is what the Prometheus movie shows you. You remember when the android take the black goo and they put it up and looking at it? Because remember, his eyes is like a zoom. He can see through the shit. It was nothing else but seeing different little subatomic level of living, living entity inside of the motherfucking black goo. Now let's go deeper to explain this shit to y'all. So, this is what's inside of the vaccine. It looks just, yeah, just like, like this that. shit. It really does. Okay? Yo. It looks just like this shit. So now, I'm going to go deeper. And that picture is on his IG. I'm going to show y'all. It's, oh, it's right you got there. got it? Okay. And this picture here, I want y'all to understand. No, of the vaccine one. No, the, not, no, 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 no. I'm, right. I'm just on this Prometheus here. So, mm -hmm. so they understand what this part means. First, you see this picture here? With this thing on the face? What mm -hmm. the fuck you think this shit is? 
All right. Let me just see what you guys are going to say on the chat. What do you think this is? Because we know it's the alien process before, you know, the alien popped out out of your gut. But what do you think this shit is? In the day and age we are living here. Because this subliminal message they was putting in these movies. Mm. What do you think this, this shit is? This is your mask. This is your mask. This is what you are seeing here. This, this right here is your mask. Now you got to understand, why they told you to put the mask on after you got the shot? After you even, they told you, at first, they told you once you take it, you don't need it, you'll be fine. But after you take it, oh, they said, nah, you got to keep this shit. And they said, I mean, you know, you're still going to get sick. That shit still don't protect you from it. But you got to understand the reason why they told you to keep this shit on. Hmm. You got to know, in this process, in the movie, this is the hibernation process. When you see that in the movie with the shit on their face, that means something is growing in their gut. So when you keep the mask, it pretty much means you help something inside of you. Breathing. Wow. You help something inside of you growing. That's why they said keep the mask on. Because whatever you inhale that carbon out, you bring, you bring that carbon back, you are breathing back the oxygen to something that live inside of your bloodstream. Boop, 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 boop. Coming in, huh? I, 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 I don't know if you got attention, man. Okay. All right. Is you following the suck? Is you following, brother? Yo. Here was going in deep. It's the Voodoo Demon and God YouTube channel. You're on the Scream, Laugh, and Cry talk show. Act like you know. Fire in the damn chat because he about to continue and it gets better. So please make sure that you're coming in hot, brother. You're coming in. We don't know what the nanny else is going, but we've got the real sauce right here. So... Yes, sir. Okay. Continue. So you are helping something inside of you to get more oxygen. That's right. Not for you. That's you right. bring that oxygen back to them. That's right. Okay? So this is now what this part means. Now I'm going back again because I have to break down everything step by step so you understand what is happening here. Okay? So you saw this picture here? This picture here is still in Prometheus. This is pretty much the squid grow, and now it's swallowing the engineer, okay? The engineer is the so-called alien creature, the alien race, okay? It's not by coincidence they designed this alien to be white, not white people, white. Now, why did they decide to make this engineer white, though? These folks is not stupid, and the ancestors or the spirit not stupid. They make them think it's inspiration, but in reality, Mother Nature is giving them the inspiration to make this because Mother Nature want to speak into a level so we can see it when we need to see it. This engineer that you saw being swallowed by this squid, this is not what it meant, what needs to know. And this scene, yes, is swallowed, but in reality, this is your white cell. This is your white cell cell being destroyed by the vaccine i repeat this is the white cell he is that's why his skin is white because he represents your white cells that's why a lot of people be having blood clot to have blood clot that mean your white cell is completely gone they lost the fight so the blood clot mean your red cells is your last line of defense so they start to stacking up against each other that's what they call spike protein so your white your your red cells need to join each other as a shield and that become your blood clot and that's how people's dying because your white cell is dead. This scene right there represents your white cell being swallowed by that intruder from that vaccine, which is what? That squid. So that entity that you saw in the vaccine is eating up white cells. That's what this shit means. You heard? Let me let you think about it for a second. Go ahead, y'all. Go ahead, y'all. Let's see. what. what yeah. That mutton part. Okay. okay, so he is the immune system. They're being swallowed by that squid that in your vaccine, they bypass your immune system. So these are the shit that's been there, but people have no idea. And I told you this why I fucking love this movie. This movie was way beyond. And to make this shit even more crazier, the engineer have a GPS system inside of the spacecraft. I repeat, that white cell have a GPS inside of their system. Now pay attention to the movie. I want y'all to go watch it over. After this, maybe you guys will see where I'm going with it. For those that still like 
like damn i'm not quite adding it this shit up they show you on their gps tracker they was heading to africa i repeat in their gps tracker they was heading to africa that was the route the spaceship was about to take to go to earth they was heading to africa and they have the, these goo they call them black goo it's a bunch of little like uh, um what you call it containers mm -hmm. packed up mm -hmm. to go to africa but this shit didn't go something happened they shit collapsed and it got stuck so once again they show you they still never get there but what was the conversation all over the media with this vaccine black people and latino got to take it first you you flat get out. it flat out Oh, Africa should be the place that we really focus on. You not getting it? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This shit was out there automatically. This movie. Okay. Set it all. Set it all, family. So, Set it all. Once again. We're coming in hot, family. We're coming in hot, we're yo. coming in super spicy at the moment. All right. Okay. Now. Uh, you know, there's been countless of movies that have had the squid. And um, another good show to yeah. check out is what? That Foundation. Yeah, yeah, fi fi but foundation is another time. Now, um, I want to go within the same squid format. That was the breakdown of show you the shit. Now, let's just think about all the movie with squid. Just a real serious. Just squid. think about it. Not What's that. up with the squid Please. shit? Work. Everything is squid, squid, squid. For a little while now. But for a long time they've been putting this, but we never mm -hmm. really get mm -hmm. it. For what it means. All along it was they was they was feeding off that squid energy because that shit was about to be inside of you. I repeat, they was feeding this shit up. All along they've been feeding this shit into you so you get familiar with it. Hmm. Cause just in case you happen to know, this shit don't make the same effect because now this shit is inside of you. So there's a ritual taking place with the squid. A hmm. squid energy, a squid god, or a squid it. entity, they are feeding enough because they're about to make that entity live inside of you and use you as an incubator. And what does the squid okay? also represent? The blocking. The so blocking you, you can't see. It's and the squid have what? They usually use a one eye squid. That's they shit. One seeing eye. But what the squid use? Black ink to blind they prey. That's how squid get away. They tore up the black ink. To completely block you and so they can get out of their way. That means they're putting a blindfold on us your eye. and get away with the shit. On your real eye. So exactly. You can't see perfect, perfect picture with that right there. That squid has that eye looking. One eye. To, correct. Now, I'm going to break down each character. This is Lovecraft Country. Okay? So, imagine Lovecraft Country. Let me, let me take it back so you understand. This is Lovecraft Country. Once again, the squid. Why? You don't see, you don't get the picture? They want to inject you with the squid, and that's why they put the black man and the black woman and the squid behind them. That's who they want to devour Call with the squid. The You're not getting it? The first episode of Lovecraft Country, you'll find him inside of a dream, and he was fighting a giant motherfucking squid. And who come down? To help him defeat a Chinese woman, an Asian woman. Where the fuck they told you to stay, the, the corona shit start? Asia, China, Wuhan. So they've been prepping this shit in your face. You just don't know it. But once again, that shit was about to be in you. And they want to make sure if they're going to test. Because all we seeing with this vaccine shit, it's, it's pretty much experiment. It's an experiment that they are conducting. They, they could not do it with a fucking mice. And other people, even they let's just say, yeah, they abduct people to do it. But understand, for an experiment to be on its full potential or to work properly is the state of mind of the prey, of whoever they are conducting shit is. The way that person think, the condition they are in play a major role to the data they want to get. For an example, if I get kidnapped and they run the test on me, I will, I will constantly be in fear. So therefore, the data they're looking for will be eventually interfere because my fear will override the way my body need to react to it that means the data they probably need were not never going to show up because of fear but now they were conducting this shit through everyone even children they don't give a fuck anymore it's crazy at first they said nah we don't worry about kids right now they even want to have children because they want data from every motherfuckers because this is a 
uh, an experiment taking place. So they need everybody participate because at the end of the day, they want to see how this shit work. They want to see if this shit inside of them, how it's going to behave. That's what we are doing. So this is why they've been putting this, the squid shit nonstop all over our eyes to get familiar. So just in case the shit come out, then your body subconsciously not rejecting it. That's one. So this, we already know. This is for Avenger, okay? This is the logo for Hydra, okay? When they say Hell Hydra, this is the logo for it. A squid. Why is that? Uh -huh. This is the bad guy, the Nazis of Avengers. A fucking squid. Coincidence? No. Let's move for even more. And this one, this one is just take the entire fucking cake because this is what they're planning right now. This is what you call... This is your show. Um, this is Watchmen. This is a picture from the Watchmen. They teleport a giant squid to New York City. No wonder New York is the first state to mandate it. Right after the Watchmen show you, they drop the fucking squid in New York. So pretty much drop the squid pretty much mean what? This is where they're going to force to put the squid on you. That's why they drop the squid. You drop the squid on the people in New York. There you have it right there. So... This is the Pirates of the Caribbean. Same shit. The Squid General. We been, they've been prepping our mind with the shit. This is Doctor Strange. When he become the supreme, what you call the supreme um, warlock. That's what he become. He have to swallow the squid. He swallow a squid to become the supreme. Um, they have a name for him, man. Ah. I said Warlock, but that, that's a different name they have for him, just for that. But again, Squid, why is that? One seeing eye Squid, that he swallowed. So, this is it for that, and that's the brainwash from that perspective. Now we're going to get to Watchmen, so you guys understand where I'm going with this, okay? So, this is the picture itself. That's the picture of the entity inside of your bloodstream. I repeat, this is the entity that live inside of you. So you guys understand. I'm, a, I'm gonna break it down one by one so you guys understand what is happening, okay? So, um, first, I wanna start with this picture here. Because this picture, it's all about the mask. Look at the mask and the police forces. This is the Watchmen. Right. Okay? This is the show Watchmen. They have the shit right there. Okay? So, yes, they've been prepping you to let you know that they're going to be down with this bullshit and they're prepping your mind for it. And they picked the Tulsa. That I mean, you know, that's the Tulsa police force. They could have easily said it's LA police force, Chicago. They picked Tulsa because Tulsa mean destruction and conquering that's why they picked tulsa because when you hear tulsa guess what this is what happened in lawcraft they picked tulsa again so there's an agenda to keep tulsa every time they want to use black people and trying to force something about us they're using the energy of defeat from tulsa because every time you said tulsa oklahoma you remember you remember the destructions of it that means Sorry. somebody conquer your energy somebody conquer us they, de they destroy your greatest time. They destroyed it. So that's why they put those police with Tulsa uniform because it means they will conquer you. And they have the mask on. This is the Watchmen show. This was two years before COVID. Yep. Two years in before COVID. Now, watch this. This is still the show. These were squid falling from the sky in Watchmen. And everybody in New York at that time, you know, everybody was like, they believe it was a natural reaction. They believe all of this was actually natural. It was nature doing this. That those squid one day, that a giant squid end up falling in New York, they feel like, well, you know, nature is crazy like that. But in reality, it was the government involved. When it means the government, the richest man on, in the world. Okay, Dr. Manhattan, he's the richest man in the world and he was a scientist. He's the one using technology 
in science, you know who this reminds you? Bill Gates. Bill Gates is your Dr. Manhattan. Okay? So he's using his technology, Microsoft, and his wealth, which is his money that he sponsored everything. And he used technology and teleport a giant squid here. And then from the squid, everybody think it's an alien act. That's why everybody think, what is the alien act? Oh, this is a natural disease. Oh, it's oh, oh it's, it's, it's a real disease. So you don't think it's man-made. So that, that, that corona, everybody thinking, man, it's God. You know, that's the last day that God is bringing this plague. Man-made shit, just like the show. And now these squid falling from the sky is constantly a way to control the minds of the people. Everybody's wearing masks now because of the squid. People was afraid. That's mm -hmm. what they're doing right now with COVID. Now, pay attention to this picture. What do you see? You see how the squid look? Take a good look at the squid, right? Now look at this. This is the entity inside of the vaccine. It look identical as the squid. Uh, yeah. Look people. at this shit. You're coming in hot. Take a look at that right there on that screen there. This is, that shit I, looks listen, the same, man. This is your same shit. This is the entity inside of the vaccine. That's your squid. So, uh, so. Yeah. There you this go. This is what is coming along with what you what they trying to put up in you and promote so damn much. Uh, with that said, I definitely want to touch on Kyrie Irving. Okay, in entertainment as it falls back to the situation. I'd like to touch on him because what was his dynamic and standpoint about this particular um, subject and topic? Pretty much right now in New York, there was like a loophole, a loophole to pretty much allow him to play home games. Now they said legislation close up that loophole, so now he can't play anymore if he don't take that shit. Yes. So off bat, I want to say to Kyrie, be your own man. Be the Muhammad Ali of our Go time. out as a okay? G, bruh. You claim your native heritage, show your ancestor that you not a buck-breaking ass nigga. Facts. You can't stand up with a spine that you can still say no. You already rich. Okay. Okay? You rich. Everybody know nobody can, can dribble the motherfucking ball like you. Nobody have your handle. You Your handle is beyond fucking human. You the greatest ball handler of all time. Okay? So right. there's no debating. Your legacy is already shaped. Everybody know Actually. you can't ball. Everybody know that. So my advice to you, if they want to release you for that, so be it. Go to Miami. Go to fucking Miami. Go where okay. You have the Go to where you, you be deserve. able to get respected as an individual, not That's a right. fucking property or a machine. That's right. We are human beings. We are not property. Okay. That's right. So for all of our weak ass NBA players, they don't say shit about Kyrie though. That's not actually respect the man individuality. Shame on you. And wait for it. You already create a multiverse for yourself. Because Mother Nature is picking data. And Mother Nature where you already know where to fucking drop your weak ass. If you think this life of yours is going to be fucked up, wait for your multiverse of existence. Because we are, we are our own God. How we behave here, how we thinking, how we all formulate our decision, we are building multiverses. So your next multiverse is you might be the God of your domain. But it's all about what you do here. So Kyrie, be the Muhammad Ali of this time. Show them how okay. it's done when you stick to your guns. All right? Show them how it's done when you stick to your guns, brother. That's Good it. Shit. Much love to you. So, once again, um, that's the deal. We're going to go to the final part here. So, we move forward. Um, This is definitely, this is what's in there. That's the whole squid agenda. So, you know, this was the Watchmen. And um, we get to the final one. Yeah, I got to do the next one. What's that? It's the movie, the squid. To explain the the the, the Asian movie squid. No, we started with the late. Oh, 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 Squid Game. All right, y'all. So on Netflix, one of the biggest moving shows of all time was called Squid Game. And I know a lot of people was hitting us up to tell us to watch it so we could come with some commentary about it. Okay, now the show is originally set in, is it South Korea? Yeah. Or North? South, South. South Korea. Okay, it is a super duper big thing. It's like trending real serious right now on Netflix saying that it just surpassed all these numbers or whatnot, which brings us back around to the grand finale of the Squid situation. That's so. Right. 
With that said, Brother Hero, take us home with that right there. Take well, us this home is, with this that is right the there. last one before we reach our mark. We already reach our mark. Yeah, but, but yeah, uh, we're we, we going to get through it. We're going to steamroll to it go real ahead, quick so everybody ahead. get it. Once again, somebody mentioned the Matrix, which is true. They show you the Sentinel, the machine. They always quit moving around in Matrix, trying to fucking assimilate everybody into the Matrix. They always quit machine. So once again, they're putting that squid shit out there in our faces. So Facts. if you want to get it, that means they put that artificial intelligence, that whatever entity shit is the sentinel they drop inside of our blood, which is how they're going to control us within the matrix. So once again, they've been putting the shit out there. We think it's a game, but this shit is right there in our faces. So we about to tackle the final issues of the show. And I want to, you know, dive in because this show was a very, I want to call it deep. I think it was the obvious, but maybe this show was pretty much shows you the truth right in our faces that we that most people think is a fucking game. Okay? They think this shit's still a joke that people just keep talking out of their asses like they want to bring some shit, trying to always be on some so-called conspiracy terrorist shit. Because this is what they use when they want when when they want to when they don't want to make effort of doing research or they don't want to face the obvious, they use this term for being lazy, conspiracy theorists. But once again, this show have a very powerful meanings, including evidence in it. So I'm going to break down to you. So first of all, they just, again, squid game. Why squid? It's a squid, 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 nonstop. Why squid is that? Squid all people. Squid work, all of this shit. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> so you just, I, I don't get it. But once again, there's a level to this shit. The other movies I show you, this represent what's going inside of you. What all of this genetic shit, what all of this inside of the vaccine, that's what I show you within these movies. But in this show here, this is not what's going inside of you. This is what they're about to apply. This show is about the law. Everything as I show you, it's about the what's going inside of you. And this show, it's everything they're about to do as to set law in place. Now, let me explain to y'all so y'all understand. First of all, once you saw this, this is the picture they use. When you saw this, what do you, where do you notice? You notice what? A doll. You notice what out there? Sign. The circle, triangle, stars, umbrella. Not These, only kind of, any kind of doll. A child. You know, a child, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Understand this is the identification for pedophilia. Well, see, all of this shit you saw behind him, this is pretty much symbol of places that they perform pedophilia slash baby or human sacrifice so when you talk about pizza gate and other shit they got areas you saw the logo once you saw the logo i mean once you saw this this, this triangle logo if you go find out the triangle logo that's mostly you know that's crazy. a thing with pedophilia and human traffic and shit so what you are witnessing this these are symbols or sign like they make it you know easier for the eyes we watching the movie we just saw a circle this is the playstation this play station this is the station where they play with this is the playstation button um identifications that's what you saw the circle the triangle and the square this is playstation that means this is how they play when you saw this doll doll represent children doll represent abductions of children okay when you saw umbrella umbrella mean people there's abducted children for doing mk or doing playground with them that's why they have umbrella academy go watch this fucking show this so-called alien this so-called rich guy is getting children from other people he's buying them young he's taking these children they told you a bunch of people was pregnant at one point and this guy going everywhere buying these children Is he really buying them or he's stealing children that's what this shit is so once you saw this umbrella this is what this umbrella is stand for snatching children pretty much so off bat people that know knows where they going with this shit now let's move forward squid game what is a squid with with ten um with, with tentacles grabbing shit around mm -hmm. okay so somebody's doing some grabbing that's the game now let's move forward um i like this picture because i took this picture because i want y'all to understand in that show, y'all already seen it. These motherfuckers here is the one creating the show in first place. They call them VIPs. So you already know movie like Eyes Wide Shut, 
all these secret society movies where this so-called a grand master or these motherfuckers they wear these masks and they have these parties with these a-list and so-called big shots where people are going to do some crazy shit in parties they wear these masks so when you're looking at all these masks they are different animals that's one of them that stood up to me the most it's because that's the one they are doing every ritual over and that's the one that win the championship with the nba it's the it, they 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 call it what is the deer. If you're looking at the very back, the oh, back the one, oh, there's a deer in the back. Okay, mm. that is the Chinese guy. There's a Chinese dude. That's the he wear the deer. And when they was having the conversation, he was speaking Mandarin Chinese, and he's the one with the deer one. Milwaukee Bucks win every movie. Was about a deer. They have this movie called um, what you call no, this sweet movie? Tooth? No, no, no. Yes, yeah, Sweet Tooth, the baby. There was con after, that was a virus killing people. Now they mm. need to kill off these babies That's to get Netflix something in their blood and to extract their pineal gland to find a cure. So I'm glad they tell you they're about to kill babies. And the, the little boy, had, he Yo. was a deer. Yeah, a deer. Yeah, deer. That's deers. one. Yeah, that's this show we 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 watch when this Chinese girl. She had that was a dope show. She got she got the light. They call her the Sun Summoner. When she summoned the sun and the guy was bring oh, the darkness. Oh, 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 I shoot. forgot the name wait of now, it. Wait now, wait now. You're coming in hot. I'm gonna tell you right now. I that forgot exactly the name of it. Uh, w uh wolves that something like that. Wolves and daggers. Something. No. Uh, ooh. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> but this like, show was dope. But once again. She, when she I'm receive her ability, she that. have Netflix, she become Netflix. yeah she's on, that's on Netflix. When she got her final ability, she become a deer herself. Word, I know okay. Exactly what she's the, the so word again, I'm a they are conducting some ritual with this, and that's not by coincidence. They allowed the Mandarin speaking guy to wear that deer mask. Now look at the other one. You find a crocodile, you find a lion, a tiger, and an owl. And what's so funny, every one of them was European. Not one black guy. All of them was European. And on sorry, on the show, it was where on the island. They was conducting shit on the island. This dude don't even know what remote island it was at one point. This sounds familiar, right? This is Einstein Island, they're telling you. This is the island of Einstein Island. And all of this is your big shot players. They've been all in the log. Okay? This is what this shit was. And they show you to go there. They have to knock you down with them with a fucking gas. Because they don't want you to know where you headed. And that's the fucking show. So now let's get deeper. Now look at the guy here, right? This is the guy that played. He was a phenomenal actor. I mean, uh, um, he's Korean oh, actor. Yeah, yeah. He do his thing. He, he, he played pretty good. They did a hell of a good job. The casting director was dope. The show was well done. It was not all that, but it's well done. You're going to sit down and watch the shit. That's what I'm talking about. There's good cinematography. There's something out there. They actually do. They work. They did a good job to me. This show and the heist. I found, I'm sorry, it was called Shadow and Bone. Yeah, Shadow <laughs> and Bone, okay? That's what we look at. That's Shadow another deer bone. representation. That's another end, deer yeah. representation. Yes, Shadow and Bone. Deer, correct. Okay? Shadow and Bone. That's what Definitely. I'm talking about. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> So that, 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 that was some yeah, other yeah, shit. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> so <laughs> this guy did his thing. Got and it. the reason why I picked this scene is because he was doing what? That's what? A candy. And for him to remove the candy, there was an umbrella candy. He had to lick it nonstop. Yeah, it was crazy. These are sexual activity. They Once you saw candy as children, because they identified these children with either pizza, candy. Um, They have like pies. They, they have like walnut. That's how they identified them. So this act was a sexually perversion. They told you is happening with these children. At a playground. In a playground. In a playground. Okay? Yeah. So yeah. this is where they're going with this. They are yeah. documented. Anious shit. These corrupt scum they call elite is involved with. This is what the scene was saying. So now. This mask is important because people don't understand. Why this mask was so different than the others? This mask represents the black market. I repeat, 
This is the black market, the dark web. This is what this mask represents. That mean your children being sold into the dark market. And this guy is the one that's in charge of to get everybody involved. That bring the people. That organize the show itself. That's your black market. Coincidence, this comes out and then Facebook and all that gets to, has that exactly. report about the slave market thing and iPhone and all that. Yo, connect the dots. Connect the dots. It's crazy. Okay? This is your black market. This is what this representation of this mask it's all about. Okay? And also... Now we move forward. So I go each to each to let you know what they all stand for. This scene is very disturbing. Okay? Hmm. Because this scene means when this is a concentration camp that you are witnesses here. Yeah. Okay? This is a camp. Concentration camp. Okay? That's the squid. Remember, each of these people here, they are bringing in after they got they after they got abducted with a gas so they all this out like they sick this look yeah. like the sickness or the way from the vax people that took this shit this is what's going to happen they're going to start to put the sickness in concentration camp yo okay they already because displayed it in Australia. They, they, you could display it. so this is a concentration camp with so called people that get sick and on the show, they show you that they put a mask on them and they put a gas. So they was in the back of the uh, um in the bus and there's a gas that just come out and they start dazed out and they fall out. That mean that's a fallout mean a disease that they couldn't stand themselves up. That's what happened there. So again, they giving you an end of a mass disease or some some sort of a outbreak that they're about to do this. Hmm. So they're giving you ant from there. So, this is very important so you understand, okay? This part here, this represents the players, okay? Look at what they, they have in their mask. They have the PlayStation mm -hmm. controller symbol. Mm -hmm. Square, For a round, mm -hmm. a triangle. This represents the players. Who are the players? Us. People that participate on their bullshit. We allowed them. That means these people are the one making this shit possible because there's more of them than all of them. So us, we are them. We are the player. What are we going to do? Remember, there was a cop in there infiltrate the shit. He was wearing the same clothes to investigate it. But guess what? He was alone. But the most important scene from that cop when he was one of them because he infiltrated, he removed the mask on. When he removed the mask from one of them, there was all children. He's like, holy shit, you a kid. What are you doing here? This represents you allow the system to start turning your children to a fucking player. That means do not let the children brainwash the children from this time around. They need to know the truth. Right now, you have kids running around. They cannot, they can even walk around without a mask on their face. They're more active than their parents. Because crazy. the brainwash. The children really Program. believe they're going to die. Program. At its finest. They are turning them to the fucking player. That mm. means they're going to be zombies just like that. Just like you saw in the show. These are the people that was killing other people. Yep. They yep. have guns that boom, killing people. Like, Yo, cold-blooded. Right. This is how your children going to become soon enough because they will not have no empathy because in their mind you have the virus. You're going to kill them, so fuck you. They don't care. If they have to run away to join the government, they'll do it because in their mind, my mom going to kill me. They already start doing it. It's wild, bro. It's they already wild. start They start making parents. They're trying to create a, a narrative right now to tell you parents are terrorists right now. They have become a terror threat to their own children. This is what they want to do. This shit right here. <clears throat> Yo, this show is not what people think it is. If you can get it, if you can understand where they're going with it, this shit will get to you. Word. Now, look at this OG here. OG was funny as shit. But once again, they pick a good person to play him. Because look at his face. He tells you everything. These are the whole farts doing all this crazy shit into the fucking world. Okay? That's him. And in the show, he was one of the VIP. But he was out there playing with them like he was a regular motherfucker. Like that need money that, oh, I'm just going to try. No, he was the one orchestrating the shit in the first place. 
with all of the other ones. So this is the system itself. We are being fucked by old people that feel like they're bored, where they feel like they can do whatever the fuck they want. Kill your kids, rape your children, take their blood, do whatever they want because they think it's a game, it's a sport. So if we don't take responsibility as a youth, as the American people, as anybody around the world, we fuck because these old pieces of shit, they don't give a fuck. To them, we are games. To them, we like a sport to them. Ping pong. They do as they please because they think money give them the power to do whatever they want. And that's what this show shows you. Only if the people comply. That's where we become the players. Only now, if we comply. If we comply. Okay? Only if we comply, we become the players. So once again, this is the picture right there. This character breaks a lot of people's heart. People was mad from this guy here. This guy was the black guy on the show. He was the nigga on the show. Once again, I'm just trying to tell you. Asians have the syndrome. They have this white supremacy syndrome where they feel like, because, you know, they kiss ass. They kiss the white man has so much. They want to be like the white man so much. So now they want to implement the law of the white man. Pretty much mean they know the white man always wants to shit on black people. So they got to find their version of black people. Now, Indian from India is their version of black people or people from Pakistan or other groups of people like that from those South Asia or North Asia. There's their version of niggas. They treat this character like he was pretty much awful. That's how much they make the man feel like, damn, nigga, you just kiss ass all, or you so submissive. They show he was a, like, this dude was so good in the show, you be pissed off. And when he died the way he got killed, people get mad and people forget this is a fucking show. Why y'all take this shit so hard? It was a show. But this shit get to you because underline, the underlying part, that's what get to you, the, the, the way that shit felt. This dude was good to everybody. He mean, specifically, this Asian dude. And in return, he got played because he got love. This shit told you, do not play around with these motherfuckers. They telling you it's for your well-being. Oh, they trying to save you. They trying to protect you. And in reality, they trying to fucking kill you. This is what this character was all about. He was an innocent person. So that's many innocent people out here believe that, you know, the vac's pretty good. The vaccine going to save life. A lot of people believe these motherfuckers, like your Fauci. They believe what he's saying. That character that fucked him up was your Fauci. Giving you the good talk, that everything is good. In reality, he fucking get killed. He play him. Okay? So that's the deal. All right? So that's what the show is all about. It was not what you think it is. So we come into our final part. Mumbo got to get the little queen. But I'll break it down pretty good. Let's see. Yeah, two, two hour, 12 mark. We reach our mark. We pass the mark. So this is it for the night. That's all the breakdown we got. If you don't see the show, you can go ahead and go see it. This shit is crazy. Okay? So definitely, thank you for everybody that shows up. Much love. So get the likes up. Let's see. Um, Get the likes up, y'all. And share the live. Let's just break the algorithm by getting the likes up. Get it to 164. But once again, that's the deal, y'all. That's the deal. That was what the show is. So, <laughs> uh, man, this was this was crazy. So I think I get through everything. Yeah, I went through everything. So, um, yeah, man. Thank you, everybody. Once again, share the live. To our mark, we don't even have the opportunity to do the the phone call, but we'll do it next time around. Next time we'll do it. This was packed with information, and also we, we start a bit late. It was some technical difficulty shit. Some shit ended up not going how it was supposed to, so, you know, we was rushing through stuff, so we didn't do it. But once again, I hope y'all get the info, because this breakdown, you're not going to get it nowhere else, nigga. We, we dropping some shit that's far hiding. Now, we give you the hidden side of shit that people probably never really see where it's, where, where that shit's going. But, you know, we do what we can to bring you up to speed. So, one love. Get the likes up. Share the live. And we definitely one love, y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, once again, shout out to all of my beautiful people. Tio Cap, Saka, Fet, Kijon, Ye. One love. Cream, Moore, Rogers, Fantasia, um, Arbus, Bain, Arbus, Hain. My brother, Baba Alagunde, shout out to you. We got Salilia Alexander, shout out to you, sis. 
Charlene, Cat Bar, everybody for the night. My beautiful Candice Fuego in the house. Salute to you, my beautiful sister. We got um, Kate Jones, um, Lily IET in the building, Miss Lakely. Um, let's see, Erica Padmore. We got Bernie Road Book Tour. Everybody that contribute tonight that come here and everybody that show love, once again, thank you. Have a blissful night. I see you next time. Share the live. Give the love. We coming strong, like Mumble call it. We coming in hot. So, like I said, everybody, you know, I see you another one, another time. So, don't be a fucking ass nigga. You already know, don't be that. And if you mess around, you're going to get a fuck out of there. He all the time and you know we're gonna call your ass out if you from here my beautiful white brothers and sisters all over the world you do not want to get on some honky tonky news on some hoop nanny going on all of this shit better yet we gonna be fine we gonna make it happen once again humanity come first be fierce don't take shit and question everything all right one love and peace out everybody